At Basingstoke and North Hampshire NHS Foundation Trust, we are committed to delivering the highest standards of patient care and recognise that respecting our patients' privacy and dignity is central to achieving this. We understand that coming into hospital can be a worrying time for both patients and their relatives. Listening to our patients, we have learned that both the way in which they are treated by our staff and the environment in which they are looked after are crucially important in determining whether their hospital experience will be a comfortable and positive one. Because of this, we are introducing a number of patient rights to ensure that the highest levels of patient dignity and privacy are being met. I believe that privacy and dignity is one of our highest priorities in this trust. Um, we feel very passionately that patients should um, get all the special attention they need according to their own specific needs. While a patient is being treated in hospital, the ward is their home from home. As such, it is essential that it is as relaxing and comfortable as possible. Key to this is the right for all patients to be cared for in single-sex accommodation. To achieve this, where patients are looked after in a mixed-sex ward, we will ensure that they will either be in a single room or a single-sex bay with adjacent toilet and washing facilities. There will be no exceptions to this rule other than in emergencies where urgent medical care must take precedence. It is important to remember that being in single-sex accommodation does not mean that you will not come into contact with any member of the opposite sex. The realities of hospital life mean that medical staff, such as doctors and nurses, support staff, such as cleaners and porters, and visitors may be of either sex. However, the additional patient rights we have introduced will help to ensure that your privacy and dignity are protected at all times. These include protected meal times and sleep times, where noise and disruption is kept to a minimum. Toilets and bathrooms must be well maintained, signed and cleaned regularly. Gowns to be provided must be able to be fastened properly to avoid accidental exposure. Total privacy must be offered for private conversations, intimate care and personal activities such as going to the toilet. Curtains between beds must be able to close properly. Daily matron and senior nurse walk-arounds must take place to inspect clinical areas for achievement of cleanliness and privacy and dignity standards. We provide a patient with an environment that gives them the privacy and dignity they would expect from anywhere. And in order to do that, we maximise the opportunities we have within the building. Some of the new initiatives that we've um, done recently is to refurbish this ward where we're on now um, and this provides us with much more single room facilities and that makes it easier to segregate the sexes so that we can have same-sex accommodation and there's no need to mix that. They will have their own toilet facilities, their own wash facilities and therefore won't have to share with a member of the opposite sex. On um, admission to the ward, every patient is assessed for their specific religious, cultural beliefs and any specific needs that they might have. We are aware that when dignity is absent from care, people can feel devalued, lacking in control and humiliated, embarrassed and ashamed. Because of this, we are determined to improve our patients' experiences by placing the same importance on patient care as we do on surgical treatment. We will do this by respecting patients' and clients' diversity and cultural needs. Being compassionate when a patient or their relatives needs emotional support, rather than just delivering technical nursing care. Demonstrating sensitivity to patients' needs, making all efforts to ensure their comfort. Keeping patients informed at all times of the progress of their treatment to enable them to make decisions about their care. When we've spoken to patients and we've asked their opinion, we realise that when people are not feeling at their best, the last thing they want to have to do is be in an environment that doesn't give them that privacy and dignity. And so we do everything we can to support them when they're not feeling very well. From the time when we arrive, we inform them what's happening and we make their accommodation more comfortable because usually most of the time when they come to hospital they're anxious about what's going to happen so we try and accommodate that for them. 
When people come into hospital, they're already feeling very vulnerable, very frightened, very out of their own environment. And the process itself can make them feel very dehumanised. They become a number or a symptom. And so it's vitally important that we take seriously their privacy and dignity. As a member of the Porter and team, I do take privacy and dignity at all times for the patients, seriously. Once they come into the hospital, they are customers. They, they deserve the privacy and dignity. But we have to give them the ultimate care. As a doctor, we do look after the patient and look at their privacy and dignity quite carefully, you know, to put their minds at rest and, you know, make them at ease when we do procedures and things. They're a lot happier when they come into hospital and it's important that they feel almost like they're at home when they're here with us and we're looking after them. Privacy and dignity is really important to put the patient's mind at rest, to know that we're not going to barge through the curtains when they're washing, to know that we're not going to just walk through the door when they're washing and just knock at the door and let them know that we're there. For all that you might be going through in terms of the extra treatment, the care will help you no end. The nurses here have been fantastic. Uh, the way you're treated is, is just awesome. If you are on this ward, then having the private rooms is just uh, makes a huge difference. But even so, in, in some of the other areas where there, there aren't very many beds to the walls, it, it's, it's just an excellent environment to come into. We at Basingstoke and North Hampshire are passionate about delivering the highest levels of patient care. If you have any questions about your rights as a patient or suggestions on how we can improve our service, we would love to hear from you.